A warm welcome and hello on today's uh, Golden Muse show. Hello, I'm Chrisula Sirigu and I'm uh, an author, a w emotional well-being educator, a broadcaster and a teacher. And today's show is dedicated to uh, how we can feel more the belongingness, the, the, the connection with the community and how our sort of uh, our inner self, our our, our Everything that comes from within is actually shared with the world with the place of love and the spirit of yes, you can actually work together, we can do this together for unity and bring the world in a better place. So, leave the, the world in a better place. I think that's that's uh, that's the vision behind what uh, WIS is all about. I am here joined by the CEO and founder of, of WIS World Health Innovation. Um, summit correct yes that's correct. it world health innovation summit and uh, I'm, I'm delighted i'm here with gareth presh hello gareth hi Chrisana. how are you it's a pleasure uh, to join you today pleasure to have you here uh, I'm, I'm really really curious where our conversation is going to go because uh, i know we're both very passionate about about giving about offering about coming from a place of integrity and honesty and how we can actually create make a difference in in our world so if, if I, I would like to ask, ask you the, the very, very key question, um, for you, what, what is the, the, one of the key ingredients, if you like, to, to connect with community and, and bring your best out of the community? Yeah, people, like it's making that connection, that one-to-one -one connection with an individual and then a community, yeah, that's about a shared value, really. Um, I suppose that's what we see in our society today is that, change that shift that energy towards giving and um, kindness um, these are all traits that are kind of shining through this is kind of what we're yearning for and um, so i suppose the 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 WIS as a world health innovation summit as a platform uh, that's kind of what we aspire to do is to be the best connector in the world and uh, to be people focused and um, to you know uh, support local communities with knowledge exchange, education, um, break down barriers, be diverse, promote equality. Um, just the, these are kind of the, the things that we kind of aspire to do in our day-to-day -day work. Really strong values there. Really yeah. fundamentally strong values that this is actually the values that uh, need to come from uh, the, the actually they are one of the strongest communities is actually family and then how from the family we can build out with uh, our neighbors with our community around here in a small village in a town and then city and then every single one of us actually has the ripple effect on everybody else's lives. So this is the the values that you you are aspiring to bring into the world and actually. For me, is also in in integrating these values more in our everyday lives. I think I think they're there. Like I think they are embedded within us, but we've not had a way of expressing them. Mm -hmm. um, like the WIS is a platform, purely like Facebook, uh, only a health book. Uh, so what we do is we connect people using health and social care as our as our leverage as our platform. Um, it's it's something that everyone has an interest in, mm -hmm. uh, so it makes it easy for us to make that connection, uh, whether it be schools, institutions, you know, and the general population. The idea is to have that open forum, people can share information, share knowledge, um, in a constructive way that we make positive change. Yes, positive change, absolutely, and positive change comes from sharing uh, wisdom. And, and and experience as well yeah. uh, this uh, and and experience we, we can search for experience uh, of course uh, elsewhere through education or through books or through uh, traveling but uh, the ex experience actually is part of us when it becomes you know what we call you know your inner goal so it becomes really internalized and integrated and then that's what I guess your passion is as well, Gareth, and the people involved with WIS, to bring that in, a, in a, an environment where it is sustainable. Yeah, um, I would say it's, it's quite easy to do. It's a thing called paying forward. And people might say, well, what's paying forward? Well, paying forward is just pass on. Mm -hmm. Just anything that you have, just pass it on as quickly as you possibly can. 
And if you do that with knowledge, I think it's a, it's it's just a fantastic way of connecting, um, you know, sharing information. Um, what's the point in having the information if you're yes. going to lock it up inside? So, um, you know, it's a new way of working. It it, it accelerates your growth. Um, it builds trust within the community that you, that you're involved in, um, and it and it and it works. Um, it's not it's not actual rocket science. It's it's quite a simple formula. Yeah, it is true. It's good to go back to the simply, sim, simplicity and just bring that, again, connect with these simple but very core values, as you mentioned before, Gareth, and bring that into our community more and more. Um, and then pass it on to our children, pass it on to, to, uh, to the new generation. And that's, that's the new the new vision that you're building here with the WIS kids and the WIS schools as well. Yeah, I mean... Ultimately, I've, you know, I have two young girls with two children and uh, everything is, is for them. You know, like you look at yourself and you say, okay, well, how do I make a difference? What's the purpose in my life? What am I there to do? Um, you know, children is the next generation. How do, we, how do we as a community support the next generation? How do we leave the world in a better position for them? Um, so we've got major challenges, but the challenges are opportunities. Uh, you know, we've got an accelerating a, well, we've got an aging population. Uh, we've got growth in terms of our uh, overall population. You know, within the next you know, 20, 30 years, we're going to have you know, 10 billion people on the planet. Uh, you know, our resources, uh, we need to look at how do we regenerate. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of word. Well, we hear, we hear people talk about sustainability. But what about, you know, regeneration? Uh, you know, you talk about smarter cities. But what about a smarter citizen? You know, there's, there's a lot of things that we need to kind of have to, to think about. Um, and that comes from knowledge, education. Um, that's why we, you know, we've started developing a kind of school, new school curriculum, which is through WIS schools. Uh, we've got the WIS kids programs. You know, they, we started them just over 18 months ago. We've over 2,000 children now through those programs, you know, health, wellness, and mindfulness. They have massive impact on over the long term, short, medium term, and long term. Our goal is to stay in for the long term, not a, a, a short, quick silver bullet. Um, WIS is there for the long term. We have ambitions to support local communities, to be the best at what we do, to provide services and programs that are at, of a high standard that deliver uh, you know, corporate social responsibility, you may say, within communities, uh, improving the health and well-being of our society as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of our ambition. We've got a, a dedicated team. The model is completely transferable where you can bring it to any community. So, you know, I'm in Cumbria at the moment, but it's being developed in Blackpool. We have an event there next week. We're in Newcastle then after that, and then we're down to Nottingham. Um, I've been invited to Sweden to present the model. Uh, I've got to go to India, China, done a deal. You know, we've spoken to the Irish Health Service. We've a memorandum of understanding agreed how we can develop the model in Ireland. Uh, we're developing work streams in the States, Africa. So you can see that you can scale this. It's not really a problem. It's, and we use digital. Social media is, is an enabler uh, if yes. used correctly, you know, so... It's quite an exciting time because uh, it's taken a long time to get to this point as well. Hard work, uh, that's what it takes. A lot of hard work. And dedication, absolutely. Absolutely, yes, yes. And, and because uh, the, the one, of the, one of the very good reasons uh, for Gareth to be here with me is because the interview is going to be part of the, the book I'm actually in the process of writing, uh, the book of Soulful Musings. And uh, the, the launch is going to happen in May 2018, and uh, it's going to be a series of books, which is, uh, which is equally exciting because it's all part of the evolutionary journey we are all in. <laughs> so, so Gareth, as, 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 uh, uh, as one, of the, uh, one of the contributors in the book, and the book is, is all about uh, life-inspired conversations like the one I'm having here now with Gareth. And it's going to be dedicated to holistic health and well-being for conscious, prosperous, and joyous uh, living. So, uh, for me, you know, the, the part that is really important, and that's what I get from you, Gareth, is is that you really like, you know, for people uh, to be to to lead a joyous life, you know, because you are you are you are a really happy chappy, you know, you are you are you're giving out these these vibes, you know, that. Uh, 
how do you do that? How do you manage to keep so so positive and and uh, you know connecting yeah. with your 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 positivity? How do you do that? What what is your your uh, is there a secret success? Uh, no, it's um it's basically you know it comes down to your mindset. It's your ambition. Um, you know, we, we, you know, you hear it said over and over again, you know, you can do what you want. It's down to you. It's all down to your ambition, really. Um, you know, if you want something and you want to work hard enough at it, you'll get it. Like, there's no, but it takes hard work. Like, you know, so me sitting here, I come across, yeah, I'm happy in that. But that's, you know, I dedicate up to 18 hours a day to my job, you know, at times. And that's what's necessary. Like, um, I do have a balance. I, you know, I switch off. Um, I have my running. I have my family. Uh, you know, I spend time with my kids. Um, I have my downtime. But I also surround myself with, with like-minded individuals, you know, so that's really important. Um, I would also say you've got to be really focused. Can't emphasize that enough. So, you know, you'll have lots of distractions in terms of what you're trying to achieve. Don't get drawn into those distractions. Focus on what your outcomes want, what you want to achieve as an outcome. And then you'll get there. Like, you know, so you will attract what you need. It just comes. It's just about that. Keep driving forward. Be persistent with your message. And also, if you're helping people, that shines true. Uh, you know, it, 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 it comes to the fore, particularly over time. You know, a vision is only as good as those who actually embrace it. Um, you know, so we get good ideas that are thrown around all the time. Usually what happens is the idea fizzles out because the, the individual doesn't have that persistence. Mm. Um, you have to be persistent. Like, it, that's, you know, you may fall a couple of times. You may, you'll fail. Like, you know, that's part and parcel of it. But you don't give up. That's you know, it's a, it's it's a, it's a learning opportunity. It's a you know, if you fail, just get up, get back on, dust yourself off. You know, I get I get knocked back all the time. You know, I, I I just people will say no like all the time, but it doesn't bother me. It's a case of well, I just go to the next door and you just continue in that vein. But mm-hmm. I think you've got to look after yourself as well. You know, you're. You talk about the health and wellness and that, I suppose. Over the last couple of months, I've started to really focus on my own health and well-being um, in terms of diet and, you know, running and just looking after myself. And I think that has a big part to play as well. And people are more conscious of that as well. Yes, yes. Well, because uh, you come from uh, this, you know, a, a corporate environment, if you like, but still... Mm-hmm. You still, it's it, the message out there is, is for, for you as a father, as a husband, as somebody who is an ambitious, uh, you know, CEO of, of, of a company like, uh, like Waze, who's internationally sort of spreading out and bringing all these wonderful uh, hope and opportunities for people to come together and work together. Um, uh, so, so, yes, the, the message goes to every single man out there that we're actually watching this. And the importance of, of keeping the mindset. And, and for me, I also go back to what you're saying, Gareth, about uh, surrounding yourself with people, like-minded people that actually believe in you. They, they, can, they can hold space for you, as, as, as I call it. You know, they, they are there to encourage you because, yes, we will have our, our downtown, you know, like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, down spiral yes. moments. Uh, it's, it's part of, you know, being a human. Uh, but also it's part of being a human of uh, actually saying, hey, uh, I had a really bad day and then reach out and talk and feel that you can express, uh, you can express that, you know, you can meet with people that can actually see you. Um, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's important too. I think you're, you know, you're right. I, I do I have come from a corporate kind of background in terms of public health service and working at a very senior level, you know, within the Irish Health Service and the NHS. Um, but I do think there's, there's room there for where you can apply those skills to the wider community and then build a bridge between, you know, the corporate world and the wider community because that's ultimately what people say they want to do is around corporate social responsibility. And that. so there's no greater value than your health. That's what WISP provides is that platform. Um, you know, so it's, it, it, and, and I agree with you. It's all about surrounding yourself with like-minded people 
and that that you know that family support is important as well you know like I, I certainly couldn't do this without the support of my family you know my wife it just wouldn't happen um and you need that encouragement there's times where you know you do have bad days and you question yourself and you question what you're doing um and you need that help you need someone just to say keep going you know that that was and sometimes it's just the little things like someone will message and say wow that was brilliant and that little bit of encouragement will yeah. just spur you on you know and it's it's only a little thing but it can make such a difference yes totally totally it, it does make a big difference and 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 that also goes with uh, children and parents how parents can actually uh, find the you know steps forward for the kids to feel uh, supported and encouraged to to uh, to be who they want to be uh, but that will be another conversation we can have uh, and that's uh, that's the conversation that uh, will be included in uh, in uh, the book of soft music number 2 where it's going to be concentrating on uh, children and conscious parenting and of course within that will be emotional well-being and how we can connect more with our emotions and and express that in a very healthy way uh, intimate way that we can you know build stronger relationships between families and uh, and relationships overall yeah it's uh, building relationships is key to what we do and you touched on it there emotional well-being emotional health but emotional intelligence i think you know if you have to look at the future where are we going you know you've got all this machine learning that's coming now mm. um you know the, the the future workforce you know is going to be around uh, people who have emotional intelligence uh, probably in the past emotional intelligence was you know wasn't seen as a, as a key trait uh, for me it's always been like a real leadership trait is to show emotional intelligence to have emotional intelligence and um, it's something that you have an abundance in the health service um, and it's an area that you know you can develop but those who give the most usually suffer the most that's one of the things you have to, you know, that, that's what comes with that sort of emotional intelligence. So you have people who are really empathetic, really passionate. Um, and then if they get knocked back, they, they actually suffer quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So you've got to support those people. And those people are very, you know, they, they give a lot to society. Um, that's kind of like what the WIS is trying to do is kind of support those people, give those people the platform that they deserve um, so that their message can be amplified and mm -hmm. can help the wider society that we live in yes yes because it, it is of course you know uh, the emotion emotions is part of uh, part of you know seeing ourselves as a whole uh, mm -hmm. and then some people just look at the the body you know the physical health and well-being but the emotional well-being if it's not in balance if it's not looked after then it will demonstrate you know you know manifest in your disease and we are here to have an easy life. I, I believe that with all my heart, you know, let's, let's create, you know, pave the way for, for, for us now in this generation and the generation to come so they can have a, a really joyous and yes, life with, with ease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, look, you look at some of the challenges that we face at the moment, you know, you have homelessness and that, I mean, nobody should be homeless in this day and age. You know, like it, it, everything as well boils down to energy. Like it's just down to energy. You know, we, we have, if you have this positive energy, things get done. Action, you know, people do things. Um, you see it all the time. Like you see, you know, people go out, you know, we've had the, the you know, the snow drifts here recently or the flooding here. Um, as soon as people need help, they just chip in. Mm -hmm. um, why does it necessarily have to be a disaster before we kickstart something like that? Why don't we just mobilize ourselves and do that every day? Because we, we would feel good about ourselves. And that's kind of what is underlying in our, in our DNA that we, we want to help others, you know? So um, this is kind of like a key. It's kind of like you just start it up and then you let it go. Um, I think we're on to something exciting. I think it's, it's, a, it's an exciting time for, for a lot of people. It is. It is an exciting time, and also it is. It is important to uh, to be inspired by others, and 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 talking about uh, new generation and leaving a legacy behind for other people. Also, 
uh, the new people, the new, the new, the young people need to feel inspired by role models, and and then say, okay, I would like to aspire to to have these qualities in me, or become somebody who can make a difference in society, uh, or be be a good parent. You know, whatever that is, there's no right or wrong here, but you know, whatever they choose. But role modeling is really important. Yeah, like role modeling is is key, like really key, especially in mentoring. Um, you know, having a having a solid role model is just it's just vital. I, I had I've had the pleasure of having, you know, some great role models, but mm-hmm. one in particular was uh, Professor John Bonner who worked you know, who I worked for um in the National Haemophilia Council. He was the chair and for me he just you know, he was everything that I wanted to aspire to, you know, someone who worked with professionalism, honesty, integrity. Um and it wasn't you know, I didn't aspire, it wasn't what I, it was his values that I wanted to aspire to be like it wasn't anything to do with monetary value for me it's never been monetary value never joined the health service for monetary gain uh, it was for the reason was then to help people like I was quite fortunate when I got introduced to the health service and um, just took it as a, as a kind of part-time job and they they funded me to paid for me to go through you know through college and very grateful for that, uh, grateful for the opportunities they've given me. Um, and you learn a lot, um, mm-hmm. you know, moving around different services. I, I've had the pleasure of working in many different sections in the, in the health service from estates to, you know, uh, up to buying and selling drugs for the, for the, for the, for the state, um, you know, rare bleeding disorders, varying CJD, uh, you know, endoscopy services, a real mixed bag of, of uh, health promotion. Um, so, you know, those experiences stay with you. And then the role model, just having that role model, that person, that figurehead that you look up to and that you say, well, I want to aspire to be like that one day. That's, and we probably lack a little bit of that um, in our society at the moment. We kind of value, it's a bit of a strange one, we kind of value people with maybe not the right values in terms of, you know, to get massive publicity, massive amounts of money that are just, you know, slushing around the system, shall we say. And, you know, when, when you look at some of our police and nurses and people, you know, who, who are helping others daily um, who, who struggle, it's a bit of a strange one for me. Um, yes, yes, it is. Like oh, equally teachers and, and uh, people are giving back to uh, society big time exactly like you see the amount of people who volunteer usually like you know it's it's the people who give the most you know and it's you know you know colleagues of mine who you know they'll do a shift in A&E and then all of a sudden they'll be on the mountain rescue or something you know like it's, it's incredible like these people are the backbone of our society and and they, they suffer from burnout then you know that's part of the problem as well we don't have that mechanism to support um, people within the workplace that's another area that we're another focused big on. area absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, so we've got challenges but we've got opportunities yes yes that's that's the way we would like to uh, to end today's uh, conversation uh, on the golden year show with my guest Gareth Presh we have challenges but we also have opportunities and obstacles are always come on our way but it's actually how we learn to use our wisdom to uh, to go past these obstacles and learn from them and then create more opportunities for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. So uh, at this point, Gareth, also like to share the some uh, contact details so people find out more about uh, your your amazing work and the people yeah. that you and your 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 team are bringing out to this world. So sure. what is the it is a website address? Yeah, uh, worldhealthinnovationsummit.com um, and you can find out pretty much everything around our programs with mm-hmm. kids, with at work, with seniors, with green. Um, so we've got with talks, you know, we've got various different programs around schools. All of these are supporting local communities. Um, so we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Um, so you can, if you hashtag the WIS, you'll find it, W-H-I-S. Um, or hashtag together we inspire that's one of our strap lines so you'll be able to find us online brilliant brilliant well thank you so much Gareth for joining me today and uh, all the very best with a wonderful journey ahead yeah pleasure thanks very much for having me Chrisola thank you